one too, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the jury. Hey, this is the, uh, I'm testing the um, recording a video game kind of a thing, as well as the new microphone. It's a Yeti mic. It picks up thing like, for example, that is me picking up and putting down the mouse. And uh, it's got, it's really <laughs> a lot more sensitive than I was uh, thinking. Anyway, so we're going to play Faster Than Light. This is a video game that I heard about probably eight or nine years ago. The graphics are from the 80s or 90s, and uh, on face value, it doesn't seem like it would be that exciting, but it actually is. It has one of those things where um, a lot of the, like, uh, it's just stripped down basics. Um, I appreciate that, and it's fun. You pilot a starship, you have a crew, and you're going around um, basically shooting up other starships, exploring the quadrants, um, and you have little missions to do. Oh, yes. Here we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, continue our game, which we have died about ten times, and we're going to hopefully show you um, some of the features on the game. This is your starship. These are your little dudes. Um, you can actually rename them. On um, the each, uh, well, there's JB. We renamed him last time. March, and then also Ryan. <laughs> the three people who are watching my videos. Um, the um, uh, main resource thing is you have these green bars and you can put them, uh, feed them in here differently. I have my missiles, I have my lasers. Let's jump into it and go into another system and see if we can get into a fight. Oop, danger, danger. Uh, there's um, a wreck there, which is cool. A plasma storm. There's a ship there that's incapacitated. Um, we're going to look for survivors, which would be great. I'd love another crew member. And we are going to avoid the risk. <clears throat> and wait to jump away unscathed. Oh, we just jumped away unscathed, so. Um, which is not what I wanted to do. So, our, our, oh, our engines are cocked right now, so we are going to. <clears throat> um, I think. How can I fix the engines? We're going to go over here. We'll bring this dude over here. Um, not enough power. We're going to see if we can, yeah, just uh, manage some resources here. We are going to jump. I should have, I should have salvaged the record. So I'm going to try to jump there and then jump back. Um, so jump and let's jump back here and let's see if we can go through the wreckage. Of course not, because we already did the thing, and now we can't find the ship. Cool. So we're going to jump out here. So this takes away a lot of the, um... Oh, there's a ship. <coughs> so there's a beacon. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, obliviously apparent, oblivious to the danger, moves in to engage. So I think we are fighting while also worrying about the sun burning us up. Which is pretty cool. Um, weapons are, we've got this guy. We're going to see if we can blast him out of the sky um, and then take his stuff because that is what we do. We're going to give a feed a little bit more into the weapons. Um, first aid, uh, so we've got a fire there. We're just going to vent it out to space, um, which it's not doing for some reason. And we died. Oh, the enemy ship is powering its FTL. It's trying to escape. We are going to try to shoot his engines out. And all right, accept the offer. Yeah, so we're gonna we're going to accept their offer and get some of their stuff. So cool. And then we are actually gonna take ourselves and try to jump out of here. I am trying to. It won't let me open this. There we go. Let's open that dude. And we're gonna jump and jump back to. Uh, actually, let's go here. And see what is in this section. So we are cool. We're gonna hang out and uh, quickly dock and see what happens. Platform could ignite. Just you hook up to refuel. The station ignites and explodes. Your own fuel reserve ignites, losing your price of fuel and damaging your ship. So we have three damage to the hull. I don't know how to repair the hull, so that is a problem. Everything's on fire. On the ship, not cool. These we gotta get you over here. To um, we're gonna pull these guys over here to hopefully put out the fire. Um, 
because uh, we are actually going to try to vent this guy into space. These guys are about dead. Not good. Yep, one guy died. Who died? I can't remember. Um, so we are just... Um, we're going to close that up, I think. Right? And then... That, I think, is on fire, right? We're going to pull this guy into here. I think the fire... Oh, no, that's just a bad section. So this is, we have one crew member left. Ryan is the last one there. Um, we vented that. These should all be vented into space. We are going, that's why he died because there was no oxygen in that room. Whoopsie! And uh, engine's critical, can we jump? No, we have to have a guy in the room to jump. So we're gonna see if uh, we need to get some oxygen over here because it looks like I'm just learning this they can't exist in rooms where it is not white um, this we're gonna try to vent out um, so hopefully I didn't want the fire to go in there but I'm just trying to get some trying to get it put out um, I'm not sure what okay there we go cool that's gone and we're gonna just gonna reseal that. It's important to <laughs> close the air airlocks so that your your crew members have oxygen. Um, I'm not sure why um, these are still um, not white yet. So we're just gonna vent them a little bit more and then close the vents up. He's doing good, so he can pilot to somewhere, but. Um, I don't know, he's not gonna, um, engines much, must be functioning, so <clears throat> I've actually gotta go back and we'll fix the engines somehow. Um, but this is what I've been playing, it is, um, it's simple on the face, you know, it seems like it wouldn't be a lot of fun, but I think there's actually a lot of depth to it, so we gotta figure out how this one guy is gonna survive. He can't even get back to this room because there is... There's no, it's it, it it's healing, so, um, and these rooms are still orange, you can't get into, I'm not sure why. So anyway, um, that is the game, we'll check out the um, uh, super advanced version of this, which is EVE Online, maybe in a week or two, once I get bored of this game. Uh, I've heard a lot about EVE Online, um, I, <laughs> I hear it's a game of spreadsheets, which doesn't sound exciting at all, but it looks, um, there's a free version you can play for a while. So we're going to check it out and just sort of run around. And that is what we are doing. Thanks for tuning in.